Hello everyone, welcome to our video today on sound basics. Now, as we kind of covered in our uh, last little unit when we were talking about just waves, um, sound waves are longitudinal waves, so they have to travel through a medium. Um, typically, of course, when we're listening to each other talk or anything like that, um, we are listening to sound waves travel through the air. Um, so that's actually not the only medium that sound can travel through. Um, also, sound travels in all directions. That kind of makes sense because if you, or if it didn't, um, we would have to be facing directly at each other in order to hear each other. So it's kind of very useful <laughs> that sound travels in all directions. I can be facing a different direction um, and talking and you can still hear me. So um, definitely a good thing. Uh, this picture here kind of gives you a visual of what sound waves might actually look like um, and what those longitudinal waves look like through the air. Sound cannot travel in space. Space does not have a medium. There's no air in space. So um, I know this has been something people have heard in the past, and I wanted to talk about why. Correct, you cannot hear anything in space. Light can still travel because it does not need a medium, but sound can't. So if you screamed at the top of your lungs in space, nothing would come out because there's nothing for it to travel through. Crazy. Um, like I said before, sound can travel in more than just air. Um, and it actually travels in dif different speeds in different media, medium, plural. Um, and the temperature can actually affect the speed of sound as well. Um, the denser a material is, the faster sound travels through it. So actually, sound travels better and faster through a solid than it does the air. The air is actually probably the least effective way for sound to travel, which is crazy because that's what we think about, right? When we're <laughs> you're listening to me right now, the sound waves are coming out of your computer through the air to your ears. Um, but it's actually the least effective way for sound to travel. Sound also travels uh, faster in a warmer environment. So during the summer, sound actually travels faster than it does in the winter. Interesting. But that kind of makes sense because the more energy something has, the faster it can vibrate because it's, you know, has more energy, so it can move faster. Humans can only hear between uh, 50 hertz and 20,000 hertz. Um, although most of the sounds that we interact with are m way on the lower end, um, this is the basically high and low end of human hearing. Um, this also does change with age. I know some of you are a fan of that mosquito tone, <laughs> and I definitely know that some people have played it in class before, but, um, you know, if you have an older teacher, they might not be able to hear it, but I still can, so <laughs> don't try it. Um, online you can actually find hearing range tests where it'll start low and go high and i will warn you if you want to try this it does get very piercing so it's not really a pleasant thing to listen to so make sure that the sound isn't too loud so you don't damage your ears um but you can find hearing range tests online if you are curious about high how high you can hear i can actually hear about eighteen thousand five hundred hertz so giving you um just an idea there pitch Pitch is how high or low a sound is. So if something is very high pitched, I think we kind of understand that and low pitched, you know. Um, and that depends entirely on the frequency. So if something has a high frequency, it has a high pitch. Um, and if something has a low frequency, it has a lower pitch. Pretty straightforward. Sound waves are longitudinal. I wanna make this abundantly clear. Sound waves are longitudinal, but we can represent them with transverse waves and it makes it a little easier to work with them if we represent them as transverse waves. Now in this video, and actually I don't know at all if I'm gonna go through how it translates from one wave to another because it is pretty complicated. <laughs> um, but basically just take my word for it that it is an accurate representation to represent sound waves as transverse waves. You'll also notice if you've ever looked at waveforms, any recorded sound, and it gives you the waves, it, those are transverse waves, right? It goes up and down like a transverse wave does. Um, so this is used for convenience because longitudinal waves, again, not always super easy to work with. Okay, speaking of representing sound waves as transverse waves, here we go. Volume. 
of sound is related to the amplitude or energy. Just to remind you, the amplitude is the height of the waves from the crest to rest or rest to trough. A high amplitude or high energy sound is loud. That kind of makes sense, you know. And a low amplitude or low energy sound is softer. Uh, we also use the unit decibels, lowercase d, uppercase b, um, to measure volume. That is our unit of volume, decibels. Hearing loss. This is something that I always want to talk about because it always seems like a uh, something we don't really take seriously in eighth grade, you know. Um, but ex excessive exposure to sounds that are too loud can and do cause hearing loss. Actually, Mr. Borkowitz has permanent hearing loss in one of his ears because he listened to music too loud when he was younger. Um, nearly 50%, that is half of you, <laughs> um, 12 to 35, definitely your age range, are at a risk of hearing loss due to sound exposure. That is very high. And hearing does not come back. We might get into the biology of your ears later on, but there are little hair cells in there that allow you to hear. And when those get damaged, they die and they don't come back. So if you suffer from hearing loss because of loud sounds, it doesn't come back, okay? Protect yourselves now so that you can enjoy hearing for the rest of your life, you know? All right, and uh, looks like that's about it for today. Um, we will be diving more into sound uh, this week and next week. And uh, I hope you're having a great day.